I checked them, there's no mold. It's all good. If my life is anything, it is one series after the other of improvisations. We're going with this. I'm committed and I'm gonna do this one way or the other. Survey says 10. 10? <laughs> um having issues. So, I just asked Junior, our friend Junior, he's been here all day, he was going to pull a disc. <laughs> he said he didn't even get around the field one time, and the bearing on the end went out or broke or something, and evidently Lawrence has the bearing, but didn't have something else that it needed. I don't know. And I'm not asking right now. Sometimes it's best to just let it, let it lie. All day, this has been going on all day. Helper here. <laughs> All right, we're about to get jacked up. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we're getting jacked up. We're getting jacked up. <laughs> jacked up and leveled out. Austin and Bonnie, good helpers. Well, Bonnie, maybe not so much. I feel like you have to twist this back to let it like. When it's going up, you gotta let to twist it back to let it to let the pressure off, like to let it go down. Hmm. And then you twist it up to let it pump. So like yeah. if I pump right now, it won't do anything. Oh, okay. You're teaching me. You're learning, huh? What do you think about this? You want to be in construction? Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. So you lowered it, raised it, and lowered it. Job. Snug as a bug. Yep. <laughs> Good deal. What you got there? A laser. A laser? 
sets it right here, and it goes around the room, and he gets to measure it. And it gets it all level. Yeah, like on that corner or something. Awesome. All right. Very cool. I never seen anything like that. That's pretty nifty. All right. Good enough. Okay, so the corn crib. Step two, phase two is done. It has got four coats of sealant on it, sprayed on it yesterday. I wasn't here to video that. I was in town looking for internet service. <laughs> it has been jacked up, shored up, leveled up, and it's ready to start work on the inside, hopefully mid-April. So, it's happening, y'all. It's really happening. I am so stoked. Whoop, whoop. And, and the bottom is going to be like that. It's going to be gray. And then the top is going to be painted. So, now I get to find a gray because I want to use a gray. And I think, well, I was leaning towards this repose gray. And of course, it's all going to look different and light. It's different light and there'll be more light coming in because there's going to be a window right there. Right there. Right there. There's going to be a window right there. Yeah. So, I'm not the most decisive person in the world and this is, this is going to be a challenge. I'm just going to have to do it though. I'm just going to have to figure it out. That's all there is to it. A lot more string. This is hay we got from a friend and neighbor who had some that we could buy. Oh, it's a little, uh, it's a little harder to put out. It's very heavy. It worries about breaking the spindle. Um, but it's hay and it's good hay. So uh, it's just gonna mean going to get a load every other morning about five miles away or so but once again happy to have the resource happy to have it I imagine they're gonna suck this up like candy oh you're showing me how you do it I definitely didn't do it that fast okay I was doing it one <laughs> I was doing it one thing at a time I've got silage. I got silage stuck all in my hair. Or I was trying to shake it out. Whew. It's different. It's definitely different hay. They love it. So it's wrapped. It's wrapped. It looks like big marshmallows. So when he went to get it, he unwrapped it, cut the wrap off, and brought it here on the trailer. I will go with him next time and show you show you that process. This stuff is gonna be like cow crack. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I expect them to eat it up like candy. That's good. No waste. Shouldn't be any waste. <laughs> oh, it really is not very fun to feed though. Just to cut it. 
He, um, hopefully I can, hopefully I'll get better at that. Hopefully I'll get better at the cutting and pulling and all that. Happy to have it. I'm not complaining. I am complaining. I'm complaining, but I shouldn't be complaining because we're happy to have it. <laughs> that's working and they're one of them's disking and one of them's leveling I think we'll see back on that red dirt road two mile red dirt road it takes at least 10 minutes to get there I don't think it takes 10 minutes Let's we'll time it. it it's 1220 it's 1220 we'll see It might take five. <laughs> Made it. Phone 24. <laughs> she said that the 60 seconds on this road feels longer than 60 seconds anywhere else. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I see two tractors. Both going. That's good. That's good. Turning some soil. He was talking this morning about how much stuff needs to be done right now. Things that need to be done. But while the weather was dry, he wanted to go ahead and get this done so that when it turns right and he can get it seeded, he'll be able to just get that done. The ground will already be worked. So. I'm glad this is I'm glad this is working today and we have beautiful weather for this so that's good um because we need to we need to go get some corn we need to get corn that's at the other farm where we're keeping it we need to be feeding that to the cows we need to move that grain bin eventually to our farm but right now, we're doing this. We also need to get bulls out of the lots. We need to get all our calves worked and castrated. There's so much to do. <laughs> Let's see, that's Lawrence. Wait, no, I don't know. No, that's Junior on the leveler. Lawrence has got the disc. Teamwork makes the dream work, they say. I agree. So this is that last field uh, that he was working on the sand with. He pushed the last field he pushed. This is our corn field, bean field, corn field. <laughs> used to be hay field. Just glad to see him going. Glad to see everything working. Knock on wood. Think of that picture with the two little boys even farming long. 
<laughs> see you, Austin. What are you doing? <laughs> sure, that's clean. <laughs> what? I'm sure that's clean. As clean as I need to be. Clean as you need it to be. <laughs> I need some words of wisdom from you. You haven't said anything in a couple, several videos. People are getting this day and age, all that's going on. We need some Lawrence wisdom. Can't think too good. Can't think too good. <laughs> oh. it twice, but... I just asked him what that beautiful crop was out there. He said he wasn't sure. Penny crest, maybe. I smell it. I feel like it has a smell to it. I think some of it's finished crisp, but that, that, that stuff would... The white? Yeah. That's not penny crisp? No. It's just... Anybody know what that is? It's corn spurge or two different other things. Corn spurge or two different other things. <laughs> okay. Well, it's coming out of this plant right here. It does have a, it has an odor. It's not a very good odor. <laughs> but there's no way I can explain an odor. No, I can't. Look at the weed ID. Which one are you looking at? <laughs> I know the glare is really bad out here. American what? Speed Speedwell. Well. Hmm. Image one, two, three, four. Oh no, that's purple. This is white. And the bottom is a broader leaf. There's like a million, so oh, yeah. yeah. You know, everybody looking to it. And then it ain't got some of them in there. What app is that? ID Weeds. Hmm. University of Missouri. Hmm. Mizzou. Is that Mizzou? Is that Mizzou? I think that's what they call it. Could be wrong. Somebody will correct me. Pork rinds, sweet tea, and a ham sandwich. Does it get any better? Not if you ain't got nothing. <laughs> not, if you want, not if you don't got nothing else. It don't. All right, well said. You're like a little kid sitting there. Coming in. Hopefully nothing went wrong. I don't know yet. <laughs> Is everything okay? It's bad bind. You got to change bind. That's okay. Again, another one. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, huh? Oh gosh. Well the fence down there and the distance that field going in on the right. And that's coming out and she hung up. Oh boy. Well at least you got more than you did yesterday. I mean there's this one silver lining maybe. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh. Go, buddy, go. It's a foggy morning.
they're hollering, they've got hay. It's always, it's always greener on the other side, even though it's brown. Okay, y'all, finally, I'm finally finding an opportunity to break out this bad boy, this brand new cookbook by Cowboy Kent and Shannon Rollins. I am so excited. Faith, Family, and the Feast. It just hit bookstores this week. And I got my copy last week, but I haven't had a chance to breathe, really, feels like. Anyway, tonight I am going to try cowboy style Philly cheesesteak, page 160 and 161. Now, if you know me at all, you know that I have a problem following recipes. It's just not in me. And tonight's really not gonna be in, any different, sorry. Cowboy Kent. But I'm still going to do my best to use bits and pieces of this. Um, one problem is I don't have a grill that works and this calls for cooking your skirt or flank steak on the grill and then putting the hoagie buns on the grill. That's problem one. But I do have cast iron and I actually do have meat that I've already cooked and from the past couple of nights I've got, um, I'll show you, I've got a whole steak left over crazy, right? And I've got some roast beef from a sirloin tip that I cooked yesterday, and I'm going to cut that up with my veggies, but I'm super excited to try this cheese sauce. I went to the store yesterday, and in the wake of all that's going on, um, it's actually not only toilet paper that's being hoarded. Evidently, people are also hoarding hoagie rolls in every form of bread. So I have some leftover hamburger buns from, I really don't remember when, but I'm gonna take these. I mean, I checked them, there's no mold, it's all good. I'm gonna put butter on them and I'm gonna put them on the skillet and get them good and warm and we're just gonna have to roll with it. If my life is anything, it is one series after the other of improvisations. Tonight will be no different. So. But also while I was at the store, I knew that this recipe called for, wait for it, provolone cheese, and I didn't have any provolone cheese. Guess what the grocery store did have? Provolone cheese slices. I couldn't find it in like a block or anything, but we'll just, we'll just hope that works. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. First order of business is self-control and not eating all of the meat before I get it ready because it is calling me. It is telling me to eat it. There's nothing better than cold roast beef or, or ribeye for that matter. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard. And here's my meat, my ribeye and my roast beef. Well, I call it roast beef. You can call it what you want to. It was a sirloin tip cooked in the oven, closed oven method. I think I've showed y'all that. Huh. I don't remember. If not, I'll do it again sometime. Anyway, I'm going to slice this up and then I'm going to slice up veggies and I'm going to put it in the skillet and saute it. And then I'm going to make cheese sauce, which I've already said, but I just said it again. Okay. I just realized so I have this new contraption. It's very tall. It's very big. It's a very big tripod that I'm trying to learn and it's learning me instead right now. Um, it's learning that I have a lot to learn. I just recorded a whole little segment here on chopping stuff up and I had it turned, I had it turned vertically and that, that just won't do. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to put that away for now until I can really focus on learning it. It's got a lot. I'll, I'll show you. Hold on. Do you see this? This is fancy. This is so fancy, so tall, so fancy. And um, it has all these different like knobs and stuff and I, I just can't figure it out right now. I appreciate it though. I love it. A very good friend of the channel gave it to me and I'm gonna learn how to use it. Don't worry. I'm gonna figure it out. I am, just not tonight. We're just gonna stick with what we know right now and that's butter and gas, and we're cooking with gas. Okay, I'm not totally giving up. I'm trying this, and trying not to spill. 
this meat, which is like gold. All right, I'm gonna do the vegetables first, and then I'm gonna put the meat in. This is a lot. This, this, this may be more than we actually need, but hello leftovers. Yeah. And now we're gonna add the meat. Let that get warm. See, the meat is already cooked, so I just want to get it warm through. Oh, yeah. What I actually need, <laughs> what I actually need here is a cameraman. If I could just, if I could just afford somebody to follow me around with a camera all the time. That would be great. And even though I cooked my steak and my sirloin tip roast with musket powder, it just wouldn't be right if I didn't add a little bit more. Yes. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in a bowl to keep it warm because I need my pan. I have a lot of cast iron skillets, but I only have one this size, and I need this for my cheese sauce. Whoops, lost one. And now we melt more butter to put the old hamburger buns in, because butter makes everything better, even old hamburger buns. I mean, we hope. I'm just resigned to the fact that these are gonna be fork and knife kind of sandwiches probably because I know these buns are going to fall apart. We just got to go with it, y'all. We just got to go with it sometimes. See that sign? Butter makes it better, y'all. That's that's what we're living. That's what we're living on tonight. That's what we're hoping for. That is tonight's prayer. It's already very evident that these are going to be falling apart. They're too old. But that's okay. Maybe we'll just have open face Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. We're just, we're going with this. I'm committed and I'm going to do this one way or the other. Ideal? No. Will it work in a pinch? Let's hope so. Okay, now we're going to melt two tablespoons of butter and then we're going to mix it with a quarter cup of flour, which I will measure, I promise. And then we're going to shred up. Oh no, then we're going to put in two cups of milk and we're going to mix that together and then we're going to shred up some yummy Provolone Tillamook. Tillamook, Tillamook, how do you say that? Tillamook is a lot more fun to say. It's a lot funner to say. So I don't know if that's right or not. Anyway, we're gonna mix that up because the grocery store may have been out of hoagie rolls and everything else, but they had Tillamook Provolone cheese. So that was a win. Okay, this is supposed to melt. This is supposed to be smooth. This is not smooth. Okay, I did something wrong. That's okay, we're gonna add milk to it and hope it smooths itself out. Mm-hmm. That's what we're gonna do. Hope for the best. Oh. That time Meredith tried to actually do a recipe from a cookbook and this is what happened. Because this is what happens when I actually try to do something semi by the book. It never happens by the book. Whoopsie daisy. It's all right. This too shall pass. Okay, y'all, it's working. It got thick. Now I'm going to take the cheese and put it in little pieces and put it in here and keep stirring. And hopefully we're gonna have a cheese sauce. If nothing else is good, we're gonna have a cheese sauce. And since I'm struggling with my little thing, what's it called? It's called something. It's just not coming to me. Tripod. I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna do that. But see, I just shredded up some of the cheese and put it in there. I'm gonna stir it around and I'm gonna do some more. And I'm gonna do some more. And I'm gonna do some more. Anybody see sick yet? Oh yeah, it's melting great. I'm pretty excited about this actually. Here we go, y'all. 
a meal this good deserves fine fire king. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's going to be all right. We're just going to serve it open faced and call it supper. Survey says 10. 10? <laughs> good. I think it's good too. We're eating in shifts tonight. Daddy's not home yet. But supper will be ready when he gets here, right? <laughs> it may be gone. It may be gone. No, we'll save some for Daddy. <laughs>